I'm the bad guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. That's what's up. What is going oh, on? Yes. It's your boy Preston. That's right. Fat Samurai guy. We are back again. That's right. Tag teaming the tag team champions. We are we are back. That's right. What is going on? Christopher Fox, director, writer. He's done it on. How you doing, brother? Welcome back. Doing good, man. Doing great. Thanks for having me back. Uh, I think last yeah, last week I was here talking about rub and stoked to be here this week talking about falling down, man. Uh, yeah. But did you notice this? It, I didn't notice it the first time I watched the movie. And then when I rewatched it recently, when he's walking in the city and he comes across the actor, you know, what was it? Uh, I, oh, so I'm not, was it economically viable or something yeah. like that? Yeah, Which is kind of fucked up because he is working. Yeah. He has money. But they still won't give him a loan because that's yeah. what they told him. So any, I think anybody would be kind of pissed off. He's like, "What are you talking about? I got a job. I got money. Like, why won't you give me a loan?" Right? What I didn't notice here's the here's the little scene here. This is what happens when you're not economically viable. That's what fair. I didn't, and you know, he he goes, "Remember me," right? And they have that acknowledgement. He does yeah. that, right? What I didn't notice uh, until I watched it the second time, he's wearing the exact same outfit Michael Douglas is wearing. Oh shit! Yeah, he's wearing the same top, tie, and pants. Oh, wow, that's that's a <laughs> that's a good pickup. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh shit! I see what you're doing there, movie. I that's, see what you did there. That's actually the same actor from Die Hard too. That yes. gets that gets killed in the in the airport uh, hangar at the very beginning. Yeah, that guy's great. It's a great actor. He was good in Daredevil on. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. One. Yeah, he was yeah. great in that. But yeah, I didn't notice that at first. That's and I saw good, it again. That's a good, that's a real good mind fuck right there. Putting him putting him in there, you know. Yeah. That's that's a good pickup. Wow. Yeah, had no idea. Smoking Ninja, you are the man. Yeah. Thanks for chiming in and hanging out with us today. Yes. Everyone kills it in this movie in terms of their performance. This guy is so wild and over the top. And it's so interesting because it's it's like what what happens? When crazy meets crazy. <laughs> if you guys ever wondered what would happen if crazy meets crazy. But this dude, oh my God, in the surplus store. Jesus Christ. Like you, man. I'm like you. We look like <laughs> We're the, the same, guy. man. Me yeah. and you are the same. <laughs> Here, you can keep that. Yeah, you can keep that. <laughs> That's for fun. That guy is... <laughs> That guy's fucking officer uh, S's. Well, you know, like actress, you know. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that guy in anything ever before. <laughs> Never again. I think we need to look that dude up, man. Oh, definitely. We need to look that guy up. Dude. That fucking guy stole the show, man. You know, I also oh. feel like, like I said earlier, people like things for all the wrong reasons sometimes, but like his shit is like Cyclone B, this was used, man. <laughs> Because I, that, that's even more relative today. You do right? him really good, man. <laughs> this was news, <laughs> man. Um, yeah, the, 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 you know. It, that, you that, Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> right behind you. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. <laughs> um, another great point of the way they sound designed that entire scene. Just oh, lead, yeah. Leading up to <laughs> vamping up to the break. Um, oh my I'm God. nothing like you. I'm an American. You're a crazy asshole. <laughs> no, it's great dialogue. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, oh my God. He <laughs> was also on the first season of 12. Oh, okay. He's on, he's maybe, what? maybe, maybe he's more of a TV actor. That's why we haven't seen him a lot. Maybe. Uh, now I have to go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, he's got to, he's got to fix his shoes. He's got shit. He's got to do. So he goes to the surplus store defense does, and he runs into crazy, crazier here. And man, it doesn't go. It doesn't doesn't go well. I did you it. like? Did you like his uh, crazy guy's demise, or would you want it? Or did you want it to be a little bit more violent? Um, no, I think he. I think it was perfect. I think he was trying. He, he really thought that this guy was a vigilante doing this, doing all this shit purposely, you know, because there's crazy people out there that need some stuff to happen to have to relate yeah. with and to like identify with, you know. And I think yeah, he's he, had the he has the police radio, so he's been hearing all all day yeah. what defense has been doing. She goes, "What's this yeah. for?" He goes, "For my personal amusement." <laughs> <laughs> he talks to the female cop. Yeah, oh yeah. my god, dude, you've nailed you've nailed him, dude. Oh, thanks. Recast. Yeah, that's yeah. it. <laughs> or if you create a character like this in your future movie, yeah, like you have this. to play him. 
we'd never even be able to get made these days on a, on a, on a, on a studio level. Are you kidding me? Oh my god! <laughs> uh, oh so, my god! Oh, so good though. But it's the same, man. He was a. I am not a vigilante. <laughs> just trying to go home. <laughs> yeah. he, he's so excited. He's like, I heard about that shit, the whammy burger. You guys, like, <laughs> give him a high five. You guys just like, you know. They spit in your food. I know. I know these things. <laughs> <laughs> Too the, good. The sick thing, Preston, is that there are millions of fucking people out there like that. That's that's. The I know. Thing, it's kind know? of sad, but kind yeah. of funny as, at the same time oh, when, you see them, when you see them get theirs in movies. But uh, again, more douchebags getting theirs. The golf cart scene, dude. Oh, oh my god. god. This I couldn't stop laughing at this, bro. By the way, one of my favorite lines this entire movie is in, is in this scene. He's just he's just walking by. He's just passing through. And this douchebag of a golfer is like, what are you doing on my golf course? And he's all like, and he hits the ball at him on purpose. That was on purpose. Sure, yeah. yeah. And he yeah. and defense is like, what the fuck? And he's like, he's like, I'm just passing through, man. Why'd you do that? He's like, it's my golf course. The other guy's warning him. The other guy's like, yo, man, I don't like the way this dude looks. Shut the fuck <laughs> yeah. up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bro. Yeah, it's like, some sense going on, you know? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. It's like a fucking RB Ranger in the middle of, middle of the daytime. <laughs> you know? uh, is it yeah. a crazy guy? Frederick Forrest was also chef in Apocalypse Now. Oh, God. I'm going to have to go. I got to go back. And watch. It's been a while since I've watched Apocalypse Now. I got to go back and That's watch it. That's an amazing, movie. amazing fucking film. Back to that scene. Now you're going to die wearing that stupid little hat. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, so good. For those of you that don't know, uh, he's like, fuck you. You almost killed me with the golf ball. He, so he shoots the golf cart. Golf cart goes down and into the lake. And the guy's like freaking out. He's having a heart attack. And he's like, pills. And the pills were in the cart. That, that gift, though, that's fucking, that's awesome. The, the replay of that game. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it's like... <laughs> uh, oh, God. Yeah, but that was great. Now you're going to die. Like, now you're gonna die wearing that silly little hat. <laughs> such, oh my god, dude, oh it's so good. Can you read that last that, that quote one more time? That from the book. That was that was some serious shit right there. And from that's the book, like, from the book of defense. Yes. <laughs> a few times every year, Hollywood makes a mistake, violates formula, and actually makes a great picture. Falling down is one of the great mistakes of 1993, a film too good and too original to win any Oscars, but one bound to be remembered in years to come as a true and ironic statement about life in our time. Thank you. <laughs> One of the best reviews. That guy, that guy, that guy, or, or they get it. They get yeah. it. They get what making a movie is all about right there. That's yeah. That, right there. Do you want to hear more? Check the link in the description to watch the full video.